He said, you go back home and you tell the dear ones back home what the Lord had done for thee. Have you been telling what the Lord had done for thee? I'm so thankful that Michael has just rehearsed and reviewed as he would go to the jail or the prison and tell them what the Lord had done. He asked permission. He said, it's wisdom. That's when they go in and they, we come in the prisons and the jails and we have the idea, we have the program, and we tear everything to pieces. You see, we're taught to do things. You know, he's trying to find people who don't know anything so he can teach them something that will last forever. We're living in reverse. That's why our prisons are filled and we're so many full of governments full of problems that they don't know what to do next. Um, they get in there and they get as much as they can for themselves, which is normal and natural. He said to the man, go back home and tell what the Lord hath done for thee. Now let's take a walk through the mind of this man that just found life. Walk right to the library. Walk to the utility. Look, just walk to the living quarters of his heart. What is he immediately faced with? A cold world? A world that misunderstood him? A world that has no love for him? And here he is with all love, all power, that put the stars and the planets in their courses. He wants to be with him. But he said, the life of trust. He has to go back into the storm. See, he began the life of trust right there. This illustrates what I preached yesterday. It applies well. It's like the wings on a bird, the stars in the sky, the water in the brook, the hay in the mouth, the grass in the field, the shoes on your feet, the gloves on your hand, the hair on your head, the eyes in their sockets. He said, you go back home and tell what the Lord hath done for thee. But look at his heart. How much does his heart want to be with the stranger of Galilee? He, wasn't, he didn't have hardly anyone want to be with him much. And he wants to be with him exceptionally more. But he has to give God the praise and the glory by obedience and by trusting to do as he said. See, obedience comes right to the whole realm of trusting. And Jesus said, you go back home and tell the friends, your loved ones, what the Lord had done for thee. See, his life began because of witnessing, because of praise. The life of trust began with this stranger the man that lost everything. In fact, if we do not know uh, to trust him, we have very much to go on. Only our own device, our own arrangements, our own knowledge, our own wants, our own plans, and they're all empty. There's no ring of glory. There's no satisfying portion Go back home and tell your friends. Back home and tell them what the Lord had done for thee. He, he began the life of trust. You see, inside of him, he wanted to be with the Savior. How far would have trust, how long would have trust lived in him? How long would love, would trust exist if he hadn't have done immediately what he was told. See, that's where we have lost it. And many have lost it in the beginning because we didn't go home to tell what he did in the life of trust, which is praised instantly after conversion. This illustrates. I was sitting here, I came down, I said, Lord, what am I going to say? What do you want me to do? That he might present to himself a glorious church? Or the 17th chapter? the high priestly prayer or the 24th chapter of Luke and here he has me on an example he has me to illustrate what was yesterday when we came I was alone 
I had hard things to bear. Hard things to bear because of the pressures of people. I come not knowing anything. And he was so merciful to come to a little nothing, servant as we are, looked hopeless. And he said, go home and tell them what I've done for you. And so this morning, we rejoice in the telling of the good news, the bearing of the truth of his praises out of our heart. They flow out of our heart. We heard in the prayer, man, this morning, the man of God, that praise flew out of him, just rolled out of him before he was facing death. When they were going to open his chest and work on the vows. Praise flew out because he'd gone home and told the good news. He had followed him through the years. So when he came to the crucial moment, beyond him, it began to flow out of him. And I shall be in him a river, a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. To whom? To the one that praises the Lord at the instant of conversion. And let's trust be his home and obedience his way. And so he went home. Jesus is alone. Who's going to be with him? Who's going to be with him? And who's going to be with the one that wanted to be with him much? He goes back alone. He's misunderstood. He's a problem. He has brought perplexity to the community, to his home, to his family. They didn't know what to do with him. Looked like he was crazy. Now he's well. So he goes back. And he tells the old, old story. The old, old story is true. The old, old story is true. For I found out the reason they loved it so well. The old, old story is true. And he went back to tell it. He told them, and when he told them, their ears flew open wide. Their hearts seemed to spring open. And the great doors of understanding and compassion came from every direction. And was, this one was finding the way. Hallelujah. This one found the way. Hallelujah. Because he obeyed right at the beginning of what Jesus told him to do when he found him. Yes. And he went back alone, but he wasn't alone long. When you do what Jesus tells you, you're not alone long. It may look like you have nothing. I know what it is to have nothing. I don't know how I'm going to feed my family. I don't know how I'm going to get gas. I don't know how I'm going to get groceries. I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent. I don't know, and I'm as happy as if I have a bank account. Didn't ever had one. Or a deep freeze. Didn't have any chickens. Didn't have any hogs. Didn't have anything. Didn't have anything. And I felt like I had everything. He went back with nothing, and he had everything. And what he had to give Christ through him in trusting turned the whole community around. It turned them all. It said they all were looking for Jesus. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could come back and learn this lesson? But hundreds of years ago, we thought finding out some things would help us. But the things we find out trap us unless he leads it. Unless he guides it. This ought to make us so happy. But, well, this should make us very happy. And they all heard him. They all heard him. They all were convinced. Just think of it. We try to have crusades. We try to have revivals. And we work to bring them in. But if the Holy Spirit hasn't been in it, there's no power there to keep them when it's over. You see, the Holy Spirit, no man comes to Jesus except God draw him. And if we are trying to get people saved, that's good. But we better wait till he leads. Because if he isn't leading, we bring, by cesarean birth, persons into spiritual life. And they're not mentally, they're not spiritually mature. And they're full of problems and questions. And when they're brought by the power, there aren't any questions. Because they're at rest. 
Where do you rest? Do you have any questions? They're all answered. In him. Not in us. Not in our knowledge. Not in our findings. Not in our accumulated finding of things. Marvelous things of the past. And he went, as Jesus said, he began the life of trusting instantly, immediately, and went into what seemingly was impossibility. This is what has kept people from the life of trusting. The self in us at the fall has got something in us to prevent us from even hearing about it. But praise the Lord, you could hear here. We could hear by God's mercies. And he can open it up. He went back and his testimony was humble. It was broken. We'll never be able to be used until we're broken. We will not bless till we bleed and be broken. It comes by dying at the moment of the birth. Dying to self, dying to the wants that wherein we fell. When we fell, we found so many things to try to help us, they've all hurt us. But we give them over and then we come to life by forsaking it all, by leaving it all, by his grace. Not by our strength, not by our knowledge, not by what we can do or what we know. Because what I know can stop everything and put the brakes on and we go backwards into ideas. Beautiful ideas, but they grind us to despair and fill the prisons everywhere and break hopes all to pieces and cause schools to have to have people now in restrooms because students are doing things in restrooms to destroy everything in there. Over the United States because we took out what belonged. We took out what belonged to the basics in order to trust and to give. And so his testimony changed them all until they were all waiting for Jesus when he returned. They were all waiting for him because of just one man that would trust. Just because of one man that didn't know anything and suddenly knew the master and had everything in trusting, in submission, in obedience. Just the word of one man trusting and obeying changed the whole community. When we get great preachers, great leaders, great things of earth, and we just keep going in circles, round and round, same thing over and over and over. The culture, all the very things of the folkways and the mores, they go on and on. But if we will go with him, if we would, he said, let him that hath an ear, let him hear. He cried it much, cried it more, but they couldn't hear. Can we hear the beginning of how to trust him to go back into humility, brokenness, that he might present to him glorious church? That's how he's going to present himself at glorious church is by this picture. He'll present to himself. He said that he might. See, he would, but he's limited because we in the fall, we got a lot of things that, that, that nail us down. And we're lost. And we're all caught up in trying to get a lot of stuff, a lot of things that look good. But instead of it, it binds us. And we miss what is ours out there that will change the whole community. Just one little simple testimony. <laughs>